But the two reporters, Caleb and Joshua, 40 years later, marched right on in there. See? But uh, you and I have to uh, train ourselves to reject anything, anything that is contrary to God's Word. Anything. Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durr with your family of Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. And just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 137 says, For with God nothing is impossible when you put your trust in God. I'm happy. Hallelujah. I'm a happy preacher. I'm a happy reporter. All this month, we've been looking at reporting, see? And I've got a good report for you today, amen? But we want to hear from you, wherever you're viewing this. Uh, just uh, let us know whatever state, whatever island, whatever nation uh, you may be viewing this from. We're just collecting all this information. We, we It's just rewarding to us knowing that uh, in all these various places in the world, you know, our last count was uh, 38 states. Uh, and then, uh, you know, was, uh, by the time uh, you view this, it may have picked up more than that, but 18 islands and 11 nations. So we're we're grateful. And it's not we're not trying to see how big we can get we're, we're trying to see how big you can get in god and uh we've been looking at this subject this month on reporting and how uh you and i live in a world of constant reports constant non-stop somebody's reporting this somebody's reporting that you know you you go into work and somebody says hey uh uh, did you see the news? Hey, uh, did you hear what happened? And, you know, you, no, I didn't hear what happened. Tell me. And all, what somebody's about to say is a report. See, everything's a report. And the word report, re, re, the prefix, means again. And port means uh, a place of, uh, or something comes and goes, you know, an airport, a ship port, so on and so forth. And so when something is made portable, see, then it goes from that place and you can take it with you. Well, uh, words are what uh, make up reports. And certainly they can be in picture form, they can be in in uh, video form, they can be in music form, but they all start with words. Words are the basis for reports. And as I've been teaching, uh, not all reports are accurate reports, see? And you and I as believers, as achievers in, in destiny, we have to know what is right, what is wrong. What is true? What is false? What is evil? What is good? And the Bible says, you know, having their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So just because somebody says something and they got all these degrees behind them or they got this huge pulpit or they've been in, in government for uh, X amount of time or whatever, you don't judge whether something is 
is true uh, just because somebody said it in an eloquent fashion and backed it up with all these scientific facts and statistics and, you know, all this. No, this is truth. This. The Bible says, know the truth. Jesus talking in John chapter 8, eight I believe it is. Know the truth. And the truth will make you free. So, ministers of the gospel are actually reporters. Isaiah said it this way, who hath believed, Lord, who hath believed our report? See? And so, uh, again, just because somebody uh, has a pulpit doesn't mean they're reporting accurately. I've heard uh, evil reports. I've heard false reports out of the pulpit. God gave you that sickness to teach you something, slow you down. And he knew if he didn't put that sickness on you, you was going to split hell wide open. That's, 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 that's an evil report. God's, God's not putting sickness on anybody. Now, certainly you can get out from underneath his covering and, and, and uh, get exposed to all the uh, plagues that are in, in this world, this present evil world. But you and I as born-again believers... We got the report of the Lord that by his stripes we were healed. He bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases. That's the report of the Lord. And so we've been talking about this, and we looked at 1 Corinthians 15, 33, where it says, Be not deceived. Evil communication or evil reporting corrupts good manners. Now, when it says be not deceived, that I mean, that lets us know as believers that 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 are studying God's word, that this is an area of vulnerab vulnerability, or uh, this is a place where a lot of deception happens. You can tell I'm a country boy; I don't have a, this vast vocabulary, but this is a place where deception happens. See, and how does it happen? Evil communication. I ain't talking about just somebody cussing. I'm talking about somebody taking a partial truth or maybe not a truth at all. It's a full-blown lie and presenting it to you as information that's true. See, the bottom line is in any evil report, they want you to believe that it's true. Because if they can whoever's given you the evil report can convince you that are true. They know that you're morally sound. They know you want truth. I mean, if somebody gives you an evil report and, 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 and they tell you, now this is really evil. And you're like, yeah, this is really evil. I like that. So then something's, something's wrong with you to begin with. But if they can sell it, if they can wrap it up in truth, see, if they can, uh, make it look like well, after all, this is this is this is true. Then this is true. Uh, then you have a tendency to be deceived and to buy into it. See, now we looked last time together at Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one and two, where it says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for; it's the evidence of things not seen. For by it, by faith." The elders obtained a good report. And I was bringing out to you that a good report, a lot of times, is based on not seen evidence. So that lets us know evidence that you can see that's factual cannot be, in God's eyes, always a true good report. Even though the doctor's diagnosis, even though the, uh, you know, what happened there at work with the, with the, uh, you overlooked at the job or whatever, see, even though these different things can be presented to you, that is not the final word. See, with God, nothing is impossible. And we looked at, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little review, 
we looked at, and you can go on our website, and you can you can see these past teachings if you want to put them all together or go to our uh, Roku channel or wherever uh, uh, social media that you're viewing this on, and you can listen to them all in a row. See, and they really they really come together uh, in more than just the half hour we have together. And we looked at how Moses sent the 12 spies in. And when they came back, they all agreed. They all said, yeah, that's a good land. Flows with milk and honey. Look at the fruit here. Uh, and so it all started out. Everybody's reporting the same. But then 10 of them brought up a report. And they said, but nevertheless, we can't do this. See, well, why couldn't they? Because it's going to take faith and it's going to take God helping them to, to do what God said uh, God had provided for them. And so what do they do? They start reporting fear. They start reporting doubt. They start reporting unbelief. They start reporting we can't. See, instead of uh, Caleb and Joshua saying, let us go up at once. And the Bible says in verse 32, this is what your Bible says now. And they brought up an evil report. Now, were there giants in the land? Yes. Were, the, were uh, these cities uh, fortified and so on and so forth? Yes. But they factored out what God had said. They said partial. Boy, that's the problem with a lot of reporters in the pulpit. They'll tell you part of God's uh, good news. They'll report part of it. In other words, most preachers will report that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that he's raised from the dead three days later. No, well, that's, that's, that's true. That's a true report. But don't leave out that he went to the whipping post. Don't leave out that he became a curse to redeem us from the curse. Don't leave out that he became poor, that we through his poverty could be made rich. Don't leave that part out, or you're not reporting the full story. You're just reporting the part that you choose for people to hear. God put the rest of it in his word for the full report to be heard. See? You go to a crime scene and, you know, let's say, a, not a crime scene, let's say a, a car wreck at the, at, at the um, a main intersection where people are walking around and the police come on there and they start asking the eyewitnesses what they saw. And, you know, it was the red car's fault. No, it was the black car's fault. Well, that white car was going faster than it should have. And you got all these different views on how they saw that uh, accident occur in a matter of seconds. Well, aren't you glad that we have God's view on how our lives are supposed to be lived? But you and I have to get into this. And I, I tell you what, uh, the Bible is still the most popular book on the planet, and yet... <laughs> one of the most neglected books as far as believers actually doing the report of the Lord, see? So Hebrews chapter 11 says that by faith, the elders obtained a good report. And we see here that we got 10 reporters con telling two reporters uh overriding what the two reporters are saying, and consequently, all the congregation sided with the majority and didn't go in to possess the promised land. But the two reporters, Caleb and Joshua, 40 years later, marched right on in there, see? But uh, you and I have to uh, train ourselves to reject anything, anything that is contrary to God's word, anything. Uh, 
physical attacks, financial attacks, uh, family attacks, any kind of demonic, uh, and, and, and they're real, factual. But if you'll take God's good report, God's truth will override and even annihilate that fact. See, now in Proverbs chapter 15, you know, when you're desperate, your ears will be more open to a good reporter <laughs> than all the people around you saying, oh, it's hopeless. It ain't, ain't no hope for you. The world says it like this, nothing left but the crying. You ever heard that term? There's nothing left but the crying. And so, that's, and they, they accept that. Well, that's not what God says. See? Now, in Proverbs 15, and it says here in verse number 30, it says, The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. The Bible, Jesus talk, talks about if your eye be single, that your eye is the light of your entire body. And if you let light in through your eye, then your whole body be full of light. But if you let darkness in your eye, your whole body be full of darkness. See, and your eyes and your ears are your ports to what's being reported out there. God's word is light, John chapter 1, see? And so his word, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more into the perfect day. So God's word, it says right here, the light of the eyes rejoices the heart and a good report maketh the bones fat. In other words, what that is saying is there you are with contrary winds blowing. There you are with uh, these reports, and they may be factual, uh, but in, in light of God's word, it's an evil report. An evil report. You got six months to live, and you're 37 years old. That's an evil report. I know it's medically correct. I know the diagnosis is correct, but it's not correct with God's word. See, that's not correct. That's not, that's not the good report. And when you hear a good reporter say, hey, you don't have to die with that. Like I heard when I was 29 years old watching television, I heard a, a good reporter, a good preacher say, uh, you, don't, you don't have to live like that. You don't have to die with that. I've already accepted death. I'm bleeding out the nose, out the mouth. Every time I'm going to the bathroom, I'm passing blood. He said, you don't have to die with that. And he prayed, and I felt this heat go down through my stomach. That was 31 years ago. See? Now, if I'd asked anybody around me, oh, yeah, you dying, son. I mean, 14 year drug addict drunk. I mean, I had, I, 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 I was, I was in bad physical condition, and any doctor wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have give me no hope. See, but the light of the eyes rejoiced my heart. Something in my spirit said, "Whoa, whoa, I don't have to die." And a good report maketh the bones fat. See, makes the bones fat. That word fat is where we get uh, the word an uh, anointing. See, makes the bones anointed. All of a sudden, there's something rises up on the inside of you. See, that's a good report. Now, uh, in Philippians, we're instructed to do this. Philippians chapter four, it says, Verse 6, be careful for nothing. In other words, don't worry about anything. 
but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace, and the peace, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I'm talking to somebody right now. You've been, you've been, you've been, I mean, just can't sleep. You're just totally worried and concerned about your family situation. See, and God needs you. He, his hand, his hand going to work mightily in your family, but he needs you to get out of that worry and get out of that anxiety and get over on the good report. Quit thinking about, oh my, they're going to die in a car wreck. Oh my, she's going to get pregnant. Oh my, they're going to OD. Oh my, they're going to kill themselves. Oh my, we're going to lose our house. Oh my, oh, there went the car. Oh my, how are we going to get food? All that. The true report. I know it can be difficult. This is where faith comes in. See? And, and that's why we have the prayer line. You call somebody on the prayer line, and I'm talking to somebody, that you, you're you just wringing your hands, and, I mean, you've been, you've been really concerned. And uh, the beauty of a prayer line is this. Your emotions are caught up in the battle you're in. The prayer minister is not. Even though they have been through battles themselves, and you can just and you can tell them the pressure and the, and and your prayer request and need that you need prayer for, their emotions, especially if they don't know you, they are not directly involved. Even though they're in the body of Christ, so on and so forth, your emotions are. So when you when that's the beauty. That's the beauty of prayer, see? That's the beauty. If any two shall agree is touching anything, they'll have it, see? And there are times in our lives where prayer is necessary uh, to uh, get help from others uh, from their spiritual walk with God. 502-597-4357. Or you can email it at help at faithvictorychurch.us. Now watch this. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are, hello, true. You have to take the report you're getting and compare it to this is truth. And if that's what's true, this is what you think on. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, talk about your, the report. Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, Think on these things. Think on what's true. Think on the good report. No, 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 no. And the devil trying to overwhelm you with the evil report. And again, the evil report can have fix, uh, physical, factual evidence. But God's word, faith, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The true report is right in here. See? So, I am giving you a true report of God's healing. I'm giving you a report of God's blessing. I'm reporting to you that God has good things for you. I'm, But see, you have to receive the report of the Lord and not, remember what I t said about what Jesus was talking uh, take heed how you hear. Don't be sitting there saying, well, that's easy for a preacher to say. i tell you what, he ain't never had been through nothing like what we've been through. Oh, really? You don't know what, I'm, what I've been through. See? We went from giving away everything and having nothing 
to standing on God's good report and watching God bless our lives, see? And God wants to bless your life. Call, I'm, I, I know you're sitting there, I, I, can, I, can, I can see you sitting at your table and you're sitting there and you're just wanting to believe what I'm saying that your situation can turn around. I'm telling you as a good reporter of God, God sent me to you today for that situation to turn around. Call the prayer line, 502-597-4357. And then once the prayer, once you pray with the prayer minister, think on the good report. Think on that. No, nope, I'm the heel. Glory be to God. No, I'm debt free, living in abundance. Hallelujah. Nope, all my family serves the Lord. Glory be to God. On and on and on. Whatever this book says, whatever our good God has reported to us to live the good life, and if you're listening or you're in a church that's not giving you a good report, get out of there. Get in a place where the, where the Word of God is, is, is being preached, is being reported correctly. See, it'll totally transform your life. Be not deceived. Evil reporting corrupts good manners. Good reporting will have your manners without corruption. You'll get rid of the corruption that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy your life. See? Well, our time has gotten away from us today. And uh, be sure to tune in and let us know where you're viewing this from. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says this. Yeah, you know what it says. For the word of a king is, there is power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24 7 so you can watch from anywhere at any time search for power of faith on youtube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.